they just finished training, the first time they're deployed, you don't want the first arrest operation they carry out to be the real thing. So you send them on a mock arrest before. You choose the most peaceful, quiet Palestinian village in the area where you served, open an aerial photo of the village, choose a random house in the village, pick up the phone, call the secret service, make sure that the guy living in the house you've chosen randomly is innocent, and that by operating on him, you are not interfering in intelligence gathering operations that the secret service has in the area. Once you get the go, meaning he's innocent, and you're not interfering in secret service business in the area, you come in the middle of the night, you surround the house, grab the guy, handcuffed, blindfold, as if it's a real arrest, put him in a jeep, after 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, someone goes on the radio, says, end of exercise, stop the jeep, release the guy, go back to the base, and go to sleep. So you're probably wondering, why the hell to do it? Actually, soldiers who get these orders usually also wonder, why the hell we're doing it? We know the guy is innocent, so why we're we doing it? And they ask their commanders, and you know what many soldiers heard back? Mainly two reasons. One is, training. As close training can be to reality, better. So if you can do it on a real Palestinian village, on a real Palestinian house, on a real Palestinian man, better. But the second reason is even more interesting. Think of it, a mock arrest is just another advanced way of making your presence felt. You go in the middle of the night to the village, surround the house, some noise, some movement, lights, shouting, military movement in the village, people wake up, they know you're here. They see you arresting a person that they know he's innocent. They're not stupid. Yeah, people in the village usually know. So they start to ask questions. Why the hell are you arresting him? He's innocent. But then they see that you released him. So what the hell is going on here? Arrest, released. Is he a collaborator? Yes, no. And they don't find the answers. So they're even more scared. When you know what's waiting behind a corner, you can calculate. When you have no idea what's waiting around the corner, that's when you're really terrified, right? Because when the goal is intimidation, the lack of logic is the perfect logic. Prevention is, is a reality of constant intimidation of everyone, everywhere, all the time. There is nothing a Palestinian can do in order not to be intimidated.